Good morning. How your baby daddy, your sister, and your cousin are them doing? And you hope you too. How y'all living, fam? I know. Back in the still, right? Anyway, I'm actually here to get toothpaste because we did really just run out. So get again in the still, getting something else. But it is what it is. I'm in CVS grabbing some toothpaste and um, yeah, just looking around. You guys know I always look at CVS in the makeup section. I don't plan on buying a damn thing. We got our trip coming up, so I ain't trying to do any more than going to get my hair done, get my nails done before I go, and that's pretty much, for the most part, about it. I do need to get a couple things before I leave, specifically for the trip. You know what I'm saying? Those little knickknacks and whatnot. But other than that, you girl ain't buying nothing in here. I just like looking to see what's going on. So you know how it goes. Anyway, how's everybody doing? Hope your week's going well. It's Friday up in this biatch. How has everybody's week been? By the time you guys see this video, it's gonna be Sunday, so the week is gonna be pretty much up. But I hope you guys had a great week. Hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. I have no idea what our plans are this weekend. I know I said that yesterday too. I'm gonna just play it by ear. I do definitely wanna grab something to eat, go out and get something someplace this weekend, hang out with the hubster, maybe just him and I, or maybe, um, uh, Bambi, Jonathan, Juice, and I as well. So um, they wanted to hang out last week, but we had poo, so we really couldn't do anything adult-like last weekend because we had them the entire weekend. So um, outside of me having gone to dinner for Jazz's uh, new job, by the way, she is like so like floored at you guys leaving comments and saying congratulations and stuff like that. Next time you guys see her, she'll probably say something about it or whatever if she shows up on the vlog anytime soon. She's definitely going to be on the vlog when we. Um, go to Dallas um, but yeah um, she was so just so like so touched by the comments and stuff because she checked out the vlog checked out the comments below it so she's just ecstatic so thank you for leaving those comments for her this has been something she's been trying to pursue for a long time now and um, finally got the job that she wanted a huge significant pay raise for her which is something that she really wanted so it was awesome to see how happy she was and it was awesome to celebrate it so perfect timing too right before you go to Dallas you can go out and celebrate have a good time and go there to be there for a tyrant which is why we're essentially going so anyway just wanted to say thank you for leaving those nice comments for her because I know she was really ecstatic to see those um, other than that y'all looking at makeup because y'all know I like to look and see what's new what's out if there's any new colors and certain product lines or whatever um, I just like looking at stuff and there's a lot of new stuff like especially in the nail department like Revlon has all kinds of new stuff and um, I met CVS like I said earlier so if you guys are looking for the buffs collection the lippies I know this CVS has them so check your CVS because they didn't have them last time I was here um, but yeah y'all just taking a gander looking around gonna grab this toothpaste because legitimately ran out of damn toothpaste and didn't realize we didn't have an extra we usually have um, one or two extra toothpastes yeah, left to kind of go into because we use toothpaste so fast in our house and um, we did not this time so y'all know how it goes anyway yeah looking around this is so pretty it's such a pretty color I've never seen something like that before that's really pretty um yeah y'all you know how it goes this weekend gonna play it by ear as always um, we got a week, a week and a half really before we're down in Dallas. So I'm really, really, really excited about that. It's gonna be awesome. Um, I'm, by the way, question for those of you guys who are in Dallas, what is the weather gonna be like in your opinion, just based on the fact that it's gonna be middle of March and essentially the beginning of spring. But for us, it's kind of gonna still probably be a little cold, a little chilly, because we're still getting freezing ass weather and we're heading into March now. So what would you suggest is proper attire for Dallas mid-March, like around the second week of March or so, because honestly, have no clue. Like we're like, is it gonna still be a little chilly like it is out here for us? Some people have said to us just previous to this that it gets, it's hotter than it is here around that time. So let us know, what are your temperatures typically like? I, like, I know you guys can't do a weather, weather report or whatever, but if you guys kind of have an idea of what we should expect, let me know, because we have no clue. And I wanna make sure that I bring what I'm supposed to bring so that I'm not freezing or I'm not too hot. You know what I'm saying? So let a girl know, comment down below, let me know. Oh my God, I love Wet n Wild. Look, Wet n Wild, cheap and quality products, y'all. And they changed their display a little bit, it looks a little different from what you guys can see. It's like, well, the whole display is different, at least from the last time I was here, but they have some really pretty fun colors. These are cool, that's pretty neat, though. 
This is Art in the Streets. It's really pretty. That's pretty. Yeah, right there. You guys can see it. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. I have a palette that's similar to this in another brand from BH Cosmetics, actually. So, And I've been playing a little bit more in my makeup and stuff. Um, oh, random. I'm more than likely going to start putting possibly... We're going to see. I'm, I'm kind of playing it by ear because I don't want to bite off more than I can chew before I actually head out to Dallas. Um, I may be putting up some some easily put up, put up a bowl makeup items on the blog sale um, maybe this coming week maybe it really depends another thing is we were about to ship out the shoes right and we had ordered some boxes specifically for that they sent us the wrong size boxes they're way too big and it just doesn't even make sense especially for shipping costs to send the shoes out in the big boxes that they sent us so we are reordering the items the boxes that we need to ship the shoes in so the shoes have not been shipped yet because we don't want to throw them in little baggies because we don't want them to get damaged on the way to you but we also want to make sure that the shoe boxes are big enough to hold the shoes you know what I'm saying without being overly big and they are way overly big so um, or we might have selected the wrong size shoe box either way we have to get another set of shoe boxes so that's what we are waiting on and they should be here soon and then once that happens we'll send the shoes out but I wanted to give you guys a heads up um, juice is sending another shipment out today of clothes and then I'll be sending another shipment out over the weekend as well um, either over the weekend or right on Monday so we're gonna package some more and get some more stuff out so everything will be to you guys before we leave for Dallas for show so no worries on that but um yeah y'all we up in this motherfucker Shit. getting the toothpaste but I just like looking to see what's new in the makeup area and seeing what's out and just checking it out. Y'all know how I do. Um, but yeah, y'all. That's really nothing new for the kid, man. Honestly. Just uh, the usual weekend stuff. I am... Um, oh, here's the toothpaste. I have a, uh, a bunch of videos to shoot. Um, specifically, All Hells the Nas. That is one video that you guys have been asking me for, and I have all of my items for it already put together. I just have to shoot the video. So that video will come out soon as well. I'm probably going to shoot it today and uh, get that edited and uploaded for you guys more than likely this coming week. So I will let you guys know as soon as that's up. Um, that makeup product video that I showed, that I told you guys about that I was wearing the other day when we went to the chiropractor, that's going to be up on Monday morning first thing. So definitely make sure to check that out. So I'll let you guys know as soon as I do. Um, the uh, All Hell to the, to the Nas video that's going to be shot today. I just got to edit it as soon as it's done and get that out. What do we normally get in toothpaste, y'all? None of them look like the stuff that we normally get. Not even gonna lie to y'all. And I want like the double stuff. Ooh, he doesn't like that flavor. Anyway, I know y'all were laughing at me about me going to the style the other day for the umpteenth time. And on some real shit, I do take care of things that I gotta take care of at the cribbo. Y'all know, the hubby's fed, I'm fed, dog's fed. Y'all know, you know what I mean? However, it just don't make no damn sense to be at the store two and three times a week for items that we could have just put on one list and gotten when we had the opportunity. You're gonna run out of stuff like what we did with toothpaste, but it's so consistent that it's like, it makes no sense to be out in the stove that much, okay, to pick up two and three things every single time and it's not food he's asking for it's just random stuff like windex shit that i'm like okay we should have gotten that when we originally <laughs> went to the stove you know or i'll be like hey do we need windex now we cool and then two days later yeah we need windex that's the kind of stuff that i was talking about so before anybody misinterprets what, what was said now nah, okay hubby's fed he wouldn't even be around if he wasn't you know he's taken care of but i want to make sure to put that out there because I think people sometimes might misinterpret what is being said, and that's just not the case. I mean, you know, and I'm, I would never complain about taking care of my husband, but it's not stuff I was getting to take care of my husband. It's just stuff that makes no sense for us to be going to the store three, four times for in a week, if that makes sense. And some of y'all feel me, because some of y'all actually left me a message saying y'all felt me on that and shot me inboxes saying y'all have the same problem with the cribbo. So I appreciate that. But I think some people be just misinterpreting and just want to take it another place. And it's like, mm -mm -mm. not now, not today, not with this nigga. No, we don't do that. Hubby's taken care of, you hear me? Anyway, believe me, okay, he got all of this, okay? All of this, all of this, okay? Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, y'all, let me get this toothpaste and get the hell out of here and get to shooting and stuff because I got to get that done, do something with my face. Y'all know. What's up, y'all? 
So, back at the cribbo, the hubster's home. He's exhausted, so I am about to make him another salad. We have been loving these salads. They're like amazingly perfection. Uh, I feel like I'm missing something. What was I? Oh, that's it. Um, it's perfection for this, you know, evening, considering we don't want to do anything too grandiose. And um, he loves the salad. So anyway, I'll show you what it looks like and tell you what's in it, basically. So you guys can see it. The hubster's like on the couch, like half asleep. Anyway, all right, bam. We got feta cheese. We got regular romaine lettuce. We got some Kalamato olives, with some red onions, which I love red onions, y'all, oh my God. And then I'm gonna put some um, steak strips on top since we ran out of ground turkey. And um, yeah, that's it. And then I'm gonna take the, uh, the Greek salad dressing, which I measure out with a tablespoon, like a measuring spoon to make sure that I'm not overdoing it. That's why I was telling him not to go, go overboard because a little bit goes a long way, but also you don't wanna like, Make it too ridiculously full of extra freaking calories that you don't need. Not that I'm dieting, but you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to just pour the shit on to the salad. So I usually just put the serving size exact amundo. Although, I could put it on the side, dip it in, and all that kind of stuff, but we ain't going to do all that. So that's what we're going to have for Din Din. And, um, of course, juice washing basketball. You already know. And we're going to watch uh, Lawn Order SVU. Y'all know we love that show. We've missed, I don't think we missed, I think they had a hiatus or something and we're catching up on another one. So we're going to watch the new Law & Order SVU while we're eating. And then we're going to go downstairs and we're going to watch House of Cards, our new obsession. It's pretty bad. And then probably have some, we are probably going to have grapes for dessert. Now that I'm sitting here, so gonna, that's what we're going to have. Yeah, make some grapes for dessert. Perfect. Yeah. Anyway. Let me go ahead and feed this man, and we'll probably see you guys in the basement. Yo, look, uh, your boy fell asleep on the couch for a minute, and your girl kind of just let him sleep because he really did need the rest. So um, we're about to go watch House of Cards downstairs. He actually woke up to watch House of Cards, and um, I thought for a minute he just wanted to just chill out, you know what I mean, because he's um, been fighting sleep most of today. But he actually wants to watch, oh, you know what? He wants to watch House of Cards. So that being said, I'm trying to put everything away so that. This halftime is presented by Toyota. Yeah. So that um, we can go ahead and uh, watch the show. But anyway, um, since the uh well i'll try you know what let me not let me not do that because i know juice is going to want to say hello to you guys and he just went downstairs but the lights are off so bear with me for two seconds but i know he always wants to say hi to you guys so we're going to walk down the stairs and let him say hi real quick <sighs> well, let's hope i don't fall down the stairs oh my god my calves are still sore from this past workout <sighs> bitches ain't shit but hoes and tricks I want to make sure you had a chance because I knew you want. I knew you'd want us to say hello. So, hey, Juice. What up, y'all? <laughs> How you here. feeling? Oh, I'm down here in the basement, just getting comfortable, man. Just been a long week. <sighs> Your boy's tired, but we about to watch an episode of uh, House of Cards right quick before I doze off. Well, hold on to the camera for two seconds. I'm gonna go grab the pillow, okay? Oh yeah, go grab some. Grab some more. Pillows. Go grab some pillows. Yes. Yeah. And while she does that, I'm gonna tell y'all tell y'all a little quick story. Uh you know, upstairs Sandy Lights keeps all the all the lights on real bright and shit. So, you know, while we're watching T V tonight, you know, you wanna tell your boy to watch his T V upstairs when the when the when the lights are on and it's bright, check it out. This is me upstairs, uh, watching T V. This is what I this is what I gotta do. This is how I watch TV upstairs, y'all. Can can you see me? Can you see me? I can see you. But for me to keep the bright lights out of my eyes because for some reason it's a glare and those lights hurt my eyes for some reason. But uh this is what your boys gotta do. 
I have resorted to uh, laying on the couch or sitting on the couch oh, with dude. the pillow over my head. You like tell this. the story. They've been asking, and I completely keep, keep forgetting. Uh, I did tell them a story. About who? Uh, which one? The, uh, the, uh, the thing you discovered the next day after. Oh, man. Well, that's story number two, y'all. Hey, check it out. There you go. A lot of lights are on down here. It ain't gonna be on for long, so I can just put that back. But upstairs, that's how I got, that's how your boys got to sit uh, just to watch TV. So let me tell y'all about uh, about Caden right quick. So he was over here last weekend, and uh, was that last weekend? Yeah, he was over last weekend, and um, man, my fucking pillow is in the way now. He was over here last weekend playing with my iPad. So. I mean, he was he was having a good old time too, man. He was eat, he had his yogurt. He was eat you know taking bites of his yogurt, going back to the iPad, playing around and stuff. Just doo -doo -doo, doo -doo 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 -doo. just having a good old time. Hey Jules, what's hey uh, get, what's the password? This I get the password. Okay, one time I gave it to him. Okay, so he's going back and forth, playing around, doo -doo 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 -doo. eating his yogurt, back and forth, dancing, doing his little thing, you know. And uh, so I get to work the next day and uh, just checking my account, you know, and I see these charges in my account. And this, little, this little guy then ran up, not one, not two, but three charges in like 15 minutes in my account. <laughs> and it wasn't no $2 charges either. We had one charge, I think it was for $9.98. Uh, we had another one for like, you know, $14.48. And then the third one, which is un unbelievable. I just don't know what, what the hell he bought still to this day. <laughs> to this day. But that third charge was $99.98. I still can't believe there's an app that's that expensive. I mean, I know they charge pretty much everything, but damn, like not, what made him? Anyway. Yeah, if there's an app for $99.98, I got to see this. He had the iPad for probably five minutes. 15. Maybe. 15. But remember, but now I'm talking about after he came to you. Because yeah. then Ed about, came. About 15. About really? 15 good so? minutes. Oh, so oh he was having a good he time. Was he was so back fast. and forth. Yeah, let me he get was one quick. Of those. Huh? Let me get one of those. Oh, last one of these. Here you go. But yeah. I mean, I think he was buying some. Co he was he was playing some games on there. I don't know if he was buying some coins and doing buying some stuff in in the game, but whatever he was doing, he did it fast. And this is what my treat is on a Friday night. So. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He did it fast, huh? Fast, y'all! Like no damn joke, like. I didn't even try to explain it, like, and then the next morning, all I got it was a text the next morning from Juice, and all he said in the text was, you will not believe what Caden did last night. So, in my mind, because I don't know if I told y'all this story, here's a st another story for that ass, okay? Jazz told me of a time that his, her little, her little nephew, who she always watches, and her sister, the, the mother of said, said nephew, was over at her crib chilling, right? I guess she had just watched her her, uh, her nephew, and I guess her sister was over the crib, essentially with her son. So while Jasmine was getting ready, okay, to go to work, I guess in the meantime, her nephew went to her back room where she does her makeup. I guess she was maybe in the bathroom getting her hair done or something, and went through her lipstick. Now, y'all know Jazz is a huge makeup fiend, okay, especially lippies she's known for that okay because she's always wearing mac lippies she don't wear nothing but mac nothing but mac okay do you know that her nephew went through and broke eight of her mac lippies eight of her not broke just cut because you know you can depot them squeeze them squished them done it's a wrap half of it was all over him or whatever so that's the story that she told me and this literally happened right before we having with poo so when i got the text from juice you know he was just like he won't believe what he did and i'm like and I, he, he was heading towards my vanity as well earlier that evening, but I stopped him. So I was like, well, maybe he got into it and I didn't notice or whatever. So that's the first thing I thought. I was like, what, what, you know? And then he tells me that and I'm like, well, shit, that's worse <laughs> because shit, it's $140.
And they take that shit out right away. They don't play with that shit. <laughs> they took that shit out right away, y'all. They weren't even playing. They ain't playing. Mm, and, you, and it's been like seven or eight days since that happened. And let's just say they're slow to put that shit back in your right. account. <laughs> Very you got, you slow. Try to get it to reverse it. And, yeah. Well, I guess supposedly they'll allow you to reverse it, but you have to go through a bunch of hoops to do it. Yeah. Anyway, another forty dollars. Money gone, y'all. It's still not in his account yet. Yeah, still waiting. Hundred forty dollars. Yeah. Who? Oh, here's my story. What? Uh, hold on. Turn turn the camera around to you. Mm-hmm. Okay, hold on. There we go. I don't want it to time out on me. You can hold it. Thank you. All right, my story. Story time with Sandy. I need some intro music when we do story time. Did you enter yours properly, Juice? Uh. Did you say story time with Juice? I don't know. I can't remember right now. Did I? I don't know. Did I, did I do that? We need to have some intro music for story time with Juice. Did I do that? And story time with Sandy. Oh, damn. I don't think I did, John. Go ahead and give your proper intro. Uh, that was story time with uh, Juice. <laughs> Or we need to do like a like a crescendo. No, nothing. Just uh, that was story yeah, time with your nigga. boy. That was story time with. Uh, here's my story. And mine's not even that great, but it but it it was funny at the time, and it's been some past tense. It may not even be that funny anymore. So, Ed, my sister's boyfriend, Manish. Manish was over here. My sister. Juice and I were over here, right? And this is on, uh, what day was it? Valentine's Day? Yeah, Valentine's Day, okay? So I'm getting ready. Of course, Manish and Ed came over because I think Manish wanted to borrow something from me, some clothes or some some shit like that. So they both came over here and uh, before they went out on their date night. And so, you know, we're just hanging out, chilling or whatever, shooting the shit, you know? And, you know, Manishka goes on the counter um, on my desk, my uh, one of my bureaus or whatever, and grabs um, my chapstick to use to, you know, <laughs> put on her lips because her lips were chapped. I mean, normal, no big deal, you know. So she actually, hold on, let me grab it. Yeah, okay. So she actually, actually, yeah, she actually pulled out my chapstick for her to use, right? And I mean, she was just like, oh, okay, you know, she put it on and, you know, she thought it, you know, felt good on her lips and all this kind of stuff and was all, you know, you know, and I was like, well, help yourself, you know, because I mean, I didn't know she was just going to just use my shit. I mean, it is chapstick. What I don't know that she realized is that she, um, not right away, at least, uh, she did pick up on this after a couple seconds, that she was actually, in fact, putting on good head lip balm. And, uh, I do mean good head lip balm that would be right there bam good head lip balm that i happen to have on my bureau there's a little penis on the front and everything from doc johnson i ain't even lying it looks like lip balm right it's yeah just it's chapstick but for you know for your head it's like like a like a like a lip balm that you put and it keeps your lips from being chapped when you trying to you know, perform certain acts, adult acts and shit. And so she didn't really notice that she had put on this chapstick until after the fact. So she sat there like, ooh yeah, la la la. Two seconds later, she's like, oh shit, dropped the whole thing. And the thing is, none of us really even noticed what she was doing for real right away. And then she put the chapstick on and I, and I was like, I don't have no chapstick because I don't ever use chapstick. Y'all know I stay on my NYX Miami, babe. And Juice uses Blistex. So I was like, the fuck was she using? Good head. Yeah, so while she was talking all that shit, just she doing was her talking thing. Shit. She was uh, talking she, hella shit. She didn't shit. even realize she was putting on some good head. For real. But uh, now she does. <laughs> <laughs> that shit shut up real quick. She yeah. sure was talking a fucking bunch of smack at that uh -huh. very moment. And she just was just like, yeah. Little did she know she was putting all, all balls on her mouth. All balls. I'm just saying. That was my story. It was so much more funny at the time. But y'all, if y'all had seen her damn face when she saw or read, because it looks literally just like cherry chapstick. Literally, doesn't it? I would have never even looked at it yeah. twice. Y'all, she shrieked. And then we realized what she had just done. Shit was funny as hell.
So that was my story that I completely forgot to tell y'all from Valentine's Day on. So yeah, mm-hmm. shit was fucking hilarious. <laughs> you see Jesus. And on that note, y'all. If y'all saw Jesus' face, y'all would lift y'all on, asses up. Oh my God. On that note, it's time for House of Cards. Oh my God. The best show ever. I love House of Cards. Do you like, okay, 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 okay. I went to ever, but it's good. Breaking Bad, House of Cards. I'm still, House of, I'm still a Breaking Bad fan. I knew you were going to say Yeah. That. So. Okay, y'all, comment down below. If you guys watch House of Cards and you guys have seen Breaking Bad. Which show Bad do you like better? Cards. Yeah, yep. which one? Which show do you like better? I'm curious to see what you guys think. I'm curious. They're totally different shows, really. But House of Cards is just clever, dude. And Kevin Spacey is the shit. What are you making that face for? You okay? Yeah, <laughs> I got crumbs all over. I figured you did. I got crumbs in my titties. Want to want to take the, the crumbs on my titties? <laughs> hey, lots of them in here. I'm sure they are. The way you've been eating that, uh, them rice cakes. You want a kiss? Y'all want a kiss? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, y'all, we gonna watch House of Cards. Look, we are losers. We're not doing anything tonight. We're gonna stay home and chill. However, we're gonna have to eat tomorrow, right? On that note, y'all, I'm going to let hey. y'all go and uh, watch House of Cards, all right? Look, motherfuckers, we're going out to eat tomorrow. He will not make a decision on where we're going to go, but we're going out to eat. It's going to be my treat, man. Damn. We're going to see. All right, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Love y'all. We'll see y'all mañana. Mwah. Love y'all. Peace, and we'll see y'all tomorrow. <laughs> oh, motherfucker. <laughs>